what we need to do to create jobs for Americans scrambling in the wake of layoffs. The beginning of what we need to do to provide relief for families worried that they won't be able to pay next month's bills. The beginning of the first steps to set our economy on a firmer foundation, paving the way to long-term growth and prosperity. Back in 2009, President Obama outlined plans for long-term economic growth. Eleven years later, the unemployment rate is down, the stock market is up, and President Trump is raging on Twitter. He's not happy. Doesn't he like be facts. He doesn't like Thinks numbers. It's, his. it's good for America. He should it be is. happy about America doing well. Exactly. I would think so. Good I'm morning. happy about America doing well. Good morning. Well. Are you happy about America doing well over the past 11 years, Mika? You would think he would be. I, I am. But he's upset because it's Obama. Welcome to Morning Joe. It's Tuesday, February 18th. With us, we have MSNBC contributor Mike Barnacle, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and associate editor of The Washington Post and MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson, U.S. national editor at The Financial Times. Edward Luce is with us. And chairman of Priorities USA, Guy Cecil, joins us as well. So, so Mika, the facts are the facts. And, of they course, are. facts are stubborn things. I think John Adams may have said it first. Ronald Reagan also loved talking about how facts were stubborn things. And here are the facts that the Recovery Act was signed 11 years ago. We've had 11 years of uninterrupted economic growth. Uh, it started and w the majority of it was through the Obama administration. And if you just take the three years that Donald Trump has been as in office, you take that time period and you compare it to Barack Obama's final three years. By just about every measure, Barack Obama's economy was much stronger than Donald Trump's economy. And it's, it's, it's what's so fascinating is that the media runs around all the time, and they've been doing it for years, talking about, well, parroting what Donald Trump says about how great the economy's been. Well, yes, this is a recovery that began 11 years ago. And if you want to just look at growth, economic growth, you know, because Donald Trump was promising four, five, six percent in terms of economic growth and GDP, you look at the last 10 presidents and their GDP growth throughout their administrations, six in 10 of those presidents, according to Axios yesterday, and well, just according to government statistics, actually had stronger economies than Donald Trump. Let me say that one more time, just for people in the media who keep parroting what Donald Trump says, that this is the strongest economy ever. Six out of the last 10 presidents have had stronger economies, bigger economic growth, bigger GDP, GDP growth than Donald Trump, which means that once again, Donald Trump is in the bottom half of his class. It's, it's something that he's all too familiar with. Well, we're going to start this morning, though, with breaking news. Michael Bloomberg will be on the debate stage tomorrow night in Nevada, qualifying with the national NPR PBS NewsHour Marist poll that just crossed this 